Don't miss any of the action at Oceanside, Chula Vista, Torrey Pines, and many more San Diego schools. Download the free UT Preps app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. Good to see you sports fans. Thank you very much for checking back in with San Diego Prep Insider. My name is Christian Pedersen here in our studio headquarters. About to bring you some more great highlights, but we're closing in now on the tail end of the season, which means that all these games you're going to be seeing are senior nights. Celebrating the kids that have put in four hard, long years of work to reach this final home game and see if they can go out with a bang. Let's roll the tape. Stop one on our senior night tour brings us to Chula Vista, traveling to Aztec country to take on Montgomery. Pre-game, we had the captain, Jackie Wang, all mic'd up. We've been talking about our time running out, and this stuff's real now. Last one out here, last one in this team. Team won't ever be the same again, all right? Hell yeah. Each team, every year is different. I love you guys. Hey, yeah. I love all, hey guys, I love all y'all. Hey, there's a reason we play this game. Hey, let's show them why we love this game. Let's, let's show them what Aztec Lacrosse is all about. Let's get it, boys, all right? Hell yeah! Hey, boys, this is what we've been working at, all right? Hell what yeah! We've been working at. Off season, everything. It leaves up for this. Let's get it, boys. We leave nothing behind. Make today count. Let's get it, boys. Aztec on three! Aztec on three! One, two, three! Aztec! It's that kind of passion that has fueled this amazing turnaround for Montgomery. Back to the game though, Sebastian Salcedo on the defensive end was setting things up for his offense with some nice saves. First score though, courtesy of Arik Ronjo. That's a laser right there. Then to the man who gave the speech, he's pumping himself up a little bit, Jackie Wang with the score. Go to the second quarter. Last time these two teams met, Chula Vista got shut out. This time, Chula Vista not gonna allow that to happen right there is goal number two, but that would be about all she wrote because things were going super well for Montgomery off the rebound. That's Jaime Casas finding it for the score. Back to Wang, setting him up on the nice pass. And about shot. A little more breathing room for Montgomery. Another one from Marik Ronjo. Makes a man miss to the left. Nice shot there. Top it off with one more from Casas. And that's all she wrote. Montgomery winning big. It's now just time to look forward to seeing these guys in the playoffs. Our next stop, Granite Hills taking their unbeaten record on the season to the land of the Islanders as Coronado tries to send their seniors off with a blast. First team to strike, Granite Hills, courtesy of Melody Mansoor. Eagles on the board for one. Coronado comes back to tie and get the lead, courtesy of Reagan Doro. Not the last we're gonna hear from her. Natalie Wilson off the penalty, gonna add to the lead. The Eagles though, fighting hard early. Jessica Jones off her penalty, bounce shot. Granite Hills back within one, but then it was time for the Islanders offense to kick it into overdrive. Brent Umansky on the bounce shot. Couple here from Georgia Reedy, because when you let greased lightning get out in the open field, you give her some nice passes, she's just gonna blow by you and shoot some lasers. We go to the second half as the Islanders just put the pedal to the metal and kept adding. Umansky, another one. This one off the ground ball. Katie Larat is there to find it, put it in. She adds to the lead. I told you we hear again from Doro. She cuts, cuts, makes a couple miss, puts it in the back of the net. Coronado winning big. Let's hear from a couple of the seniors after the game. Well, it was a pretty nice win because we had senior night and we came out super confident right off the bat. We got a couple goals in and then second half we just kind of got more comfortable with each other and started putting them in really fast. Um, it means a lot because it's my last regular season game at home after playing here for four years and um, I think we had a really good game and it's going to start us going into playoffs really well.